This is the story of how after hundreds of job applications to tech companies across the U.S., I ended up working at a nuclear bomb lab in New Mexico where I coded a holographic chicken and then eventually landed my dream internship. Hi, I'm James. I'm a software engineer at Amazon. And in this video, I'm going to go over how I got my start in tech through my first internship. I'm also going to be sharing some tips and tricks throughout the video. It all started back towards the end of my sophomore year. I had just started applying online for internship roles. My first mistake was that I started way too late. Some of these roles open as early as August, and I was applying in April. So make sure to apply as early as you can. As for my resume, the only job experience I had was doing tutoring, tutoring computer science and math at my college. So my resume consisted of that and personal projects. After applying online to several tech companies, I did not get an interview for a single one. That year, I submitted about 150 applications. I was crushed, really disappointed. Like, why was I wasting my energy applying for all these roles if the companies were just going to either ghost me or send me a rejection letter? Right before the start of summer, like probably a week or two away, I got an interview from Los Alamos National Laboratory. Yes, that's the same place in New Mexico where they invented the nuclear bomb. I hesitated a bit because this wasn't a tech company like I was aiming for, but there was no technical interview. At the time, I did not even know what a leak code question was. So I wouldn't consider this my first actual tech internship, but looking back, this was one of the coolest summer experiences I ever had. At the job, I made some really awesome friends, got to build augmented reality apps for the HoloLens headset. I built an AR chicken chase game where you can chase a holographic chicken. You know, I talk about that chicken a lot, but in reality, he is my greatest achievement. Fast forward to my junior year, and once again, I was looking for some summer internships, but this time I had some actual job experience. My goal was to work at a real tech company this summer, so I sent out around 200 applications online, and I got back some of these hacker rank tests, which are these tests they use to filter out candidates, and I failed every single one of them. So it was once again quickly approaching the start of summer, and I had not yet secured a summer internship. At this point, I thought I was done and that I was just going to go work on my non-existent startup for the summer. Out of the blue, one of the recruiters from Uber emails me and says they want to do an interview. I started studying leak code like crazy for this interview. My preparation consisted of about 20 leak code questions, all easy, and skimming cracking the coding interview. So yes, you can say I was definitely underprepared. Here's a tip if you're starting out your technical interview journey, start with cracking the coding interview. If you start with leak code, you are going to struggle. If you are a beginner or struggling with leak code, cracking the coding interview will give you the mindset you need to start doing leak code problems. The day eventually came for my first interview, and I was nervous. The guy sent me a code pair link. We got on a call, and the first thing he says to me is, Hi James, let's start by coding up an LRU cache. It was at this moment that I was frozen in fear. My mind started cycling through trying to remember what an LRU cache is, but it comes up as null. So I just say, I don't know what that is. Can you walk me through it? So the interviewer replies with, you don't know what an LRU cache is? Oh no. After he said this, I'm thinking to myself that I should just hang up the call and save myself the embarrassment, but he proceeds to explain what an LRU cache is. And he even apologizes because he asked me a hard question. At the end of the interview, I coded up the LRU cache based on his explanation but I didn't have time to write test cases, so I thought, for sure, I had failed. Before he hangs up the call, this man literally says to me, You did a great job. It's going to be a yes for me. Sorry for asking you such a hard question. This is the first time an interviewer has ever told me the results of the interview right after. It felt like being on a talent show. So this sort of leads to another tip, which is don't be afraid to ask your interviewer for guidance during the interview. The interviewer is there to guide you in the right direction. Another tip is that you should be communicating your thought process throughout the interview. Not only does this show the interviewer how you think and solve problems, but if you get stuck or go down the wrong direction, it makes it much easier for the interviewer to show you to the right path. The second interview comes around and I get asked a leak code medium. I start by asking clarification questions and describing my approach to the interviewer. Towards the end, I realized that I had not written any test cases, so I did that and not all of my test cases passed. So I had to spend time to think about where the bug existed and walk through my approach to the interviewer of identifying the bug and fixing it. 
At the end, I did not fix all the bugs and not all of my test cases passed. I thought for sure I had failed the second interview. A week later, I got an email from a recruiter saying that she wants to have a phone conversation. Now I'm thinking, okay, I got the internship, because why else would she want to have a phone conversation? I guess it's possible she could have just wanted to get feedback on how the interview went and then reject me right after. So I get on the call with her and she asks me how the interview went, what I thought of the process, and she sounded sad. So I thought, okay, I'm about to get rejected. But then she hits me with the internship offer. She starts sounding all happy. She's like, you got the internship offer. So I think she was definitely trying to bait me there. Now I want to point out that my interviews did not go all that great. I didn't finish all my test cases in the second interview, and I did not even know what the concept the guy was asking me to implement in the first interview. So this just goes to show that you do not need to perform perfectly in your interviews. In summary, here are three tricks that I've learned from my experience interviewing at places like Uber, Google, and Amazon. Always be communicating throughout the interview. Always be confident. Try to fake your confidence if you don't have any. Ask for help if you get stuck. I know it's not easy to talk and think at the same time during your interview. It was really difficult for me. So I'm going to make a new video on how I got really good at that and my whole leak code preparation process so that you can learn from it. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to subscribe to not miss out on any of my other videos. I hope this video provided some insight into what it's like applying for these software engineering internships. I know it's not easy, let alone during a pandemic if you're applying right now. So don't give up, keep applying, keep trying, and eventually you'll get the internship. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. I don't like where this is going. <laughs>